Hi, it's Teacher Rosie. I found another Christmas book. It says, Merry Christmas, Mouse. Oh, this is Mouse. Who's it by? Laura Numeroff and Felicia Bond. And Mouse has a bunch of ornaments here. I said I'm Teacher Rosie, right? <laughs> Don't forget to make a comment at the end of this video. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Mouse puts one star on the Christmas tree. One. One. Number one. One star. There's Mouse. Two. He adds two angels. One, two. Three. Three snowflakes. Let's count them. One, two, three. Three. Four. Four reindeer. There's the number four and the word for. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Five snowmen. Five. Five. One, two, three, four. Five, five, one, two, three, four, five, five, six toy soldiers, six, 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 seven, seven robots, seven, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, they're tucked away in there. Eight little elves. Eight, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine mittens, nine, nine, let's see, let's go over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine mittens. And ten rockets. Ten. T E N ten. Okay, guys, gotta count the rockets. Ready? Set, go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten! Ten rockets. One hundred! One hundred! Only a hundred more to go! What? Only a hundred more to go! That's a... That's a crazy mouse. A hundred ornaments. Wow, that's a lot. Gosh, I've never counted how many ornaments I put on my tree. I usually end up doing all the <laughs> decorating now. When the kids were little, we made ornaments together, and that was a lot of fun. But um, now they're all grown up. Not so fun anymore. There's my Christmas tree. The lights off. Sorry. The lights are on a timer. They'll go on at 
5 o'clock to 10 o'clock at night. But there it is. There's my tree. Look. I don't have too many of these left. I made this Christmas tree ornament when I was like in, I don't know, third or fourth grade. It's ice cream. <laughs> And my, let's see, I made this ornament for fun when the kids were little. It's a spider web. Nice. Yeah. Let's see. There's another one. This ornament's made in the Czech Republic out of straw. Kind of clever. It looks like a pine cone. Pretty clever. Let's see. These ones are easy to make. It's just a pipe cleaner, a green one in the middle. And then you just put these um, beads in order, right? Green, white, red. It's a candy cane. Do it till it's all full and um, bend it at the end. I used to also do these with pony beads. You just get a red pipe cleaner or a white one and do red, white, red, white, red, white. That's this one. And let's see, when my kids were at Birch Lane School in Davis, there was a giant white oak. There is a giant white oak um, in the schoolyard. And I was yard duty um, and um, volunteer gardening parent. And I also um, got to do crafts. I forgot what my title was, but I had to do crafts with the kids um, every lunch recess. Or no, wait, it was like Tuesdays and Thursdays for lunch recess. And I came up with this craft because I was out there under that giant oak tree. So this is like the cap that goes on the acorn. And they got huge because it was a gigantic white oak tree. So the acorns were huge. So I had the kids um, in the fall, probably around October, or early November, collect all these um, caps. They just fall off the um, acorns after a while. And then we painted them all pretty colors, like gold and silver and whatever paint I had. And then I had these beads I get every year. This is just that gardening wire, the green gardening wire. Um, I waited till the paint dried on all the um, acorn tops they're like little hats and I drilled two holes in each one at the top and then we made pom-poms with yarn again whatever yarns I had that's a leaf off the Christmas tree pine needle and um and then I helped the kids you know tie their tie their, put their wires in. It was really hard for them to get the wires through the holes. And um, we put a few beads to make sure the wires wouldn't come out. And we twisted it. And there you go. It's a Christmas tree ornament. Cute, huh? Gotta be creative. Gotta be creative with your Christmas tree ornaments. Gotta have fun. It's all good. It's all fun. I even used to try to make ornaments out of um, old jewelry, you know, like when um, all those old plastic necklaces that ladies used to wear, plastic beads and stuff. I'd try to make I, I try to make ne um, Christmas ornaments out of them. Trying to always trying to recycle, recycle, reduce, reuse, right? <laughs> so here's a ornament I made this. These um, turquoise beads were from an old necklace. And here's another one. Let's see now. I think this was made by, I think, my daughter. 
It's a walnut shell. We would try to break them so that the half the shell would be perfect. And oh, I forgot what these are called. This is like a wire for like, you know, tying up a grocery bag or something, right? And in here is a little toy ladybug, plastic toy. And this is a, a cotton ball, I think, spread out. And we used hot glue. So we glued in the cotton ball, then glued in the ladybug, and, and we glued in the um, the metal um, hook. And there you go. Quick, a quick, fun, easy Christmas tree ornament. And if the kids are too little to do the gluing part, then you... You have them plan it and tell you what they want, and then you put it together real quick. Anyways, there you go, guys. Ideas for Christmas tree ornaments, just for the fun of it. You could also just cut cardboard, like um, cereal boxes. You cut the cardboard into shapes like hearts and Christmas trees, and then you um, paint them. Um, I wouldn't use watercolor paint. I would use um, that. Oh, I forgot what it's called. That more permanent paint. I it can paint on anything. I forgot what it's called. Sorry, guys. But get a good paint, and then you can you know sprinkle um, sparklies on the paint before it dries, and that way, like you would paint the Christmas say the Christmas tree green, and then put sparkles all over it, um, or tinsel or anything. Like this, just in pretty shapes. I even used fabric, there we go. It's a pretty shiny piece of red fabric. This is just the gold paint. Um, you could use fabric paint even, you know, that kind of thicker paint. This comes out really shiny, you want that? I made this one for my husband. To Martin Love Rosie, 2004. <laughs> That's the thing. I love Christmas trees that have all the ornaments from all the years. What survived? <laughs> uh, all the homemade stuff. Okay, it's, it's never too boring. You cannot have a boring tree. It has to have as many colors as possible. All right. Merry Christmas. I hope you all have a wonderful holiday. Don't forget to put a comment at the end of the video. Bye.